so I'm back from the Sundarban trip and I'm now in Kolkata and I have a spare morning and I decided I'd head uh, into the city center and check out the city center attractions. So here I am heading out. So I need to walk about uh, two kilometers to reach the metro station uh, according to Google Maps. And I was told if you take an auto, you need to take two autos because uh, there is no direct auto you have to take a shared auto which goes somewhere and then switch from there to a different auto but uh, i've decided to just try and walk it because what better way to experience the city than walk so i'm taking some narrow lane that google is showing me let's see where that takes me it's about two kilometers to the metro station it's called master suryada metro station the impact that google uh, um, technology in general has had on our lives i'm using google to try and find my directions and if it was not for google then I guess I would have had to ask people and figure out and not knowing the language that's such a difficult thing to do uh, as it is it's quite intimidating to approach a stranger and then figure out the language and then make your way uh, following instructions but here I'm just using my phone to try and figure things out amazing Okay, so it wasn't all that straightforward. I ended up going down some roads uh, which Google asked me to go and ended up walking into a dead end. And then I had to retrace my steps and come back and try and figure out how to get back onto the original route. Uh, so all the dependence on technology is not always <laughs> the best. Um, but I finally did find my way and I made it uh, back. Uh, onto the route and onto the metro station and it was quite an interesting walk in itself. The process of uh, taking the metro itself was fairly straightforward. I just had to look up the station, uh, find out how much the ticket was, buy the ticket and as in Bangalore get on the metro uh, and look at uh, the signboards to get off at the right station. And it was quite crowded and I was surprised at the amount of people because I had never gotten out uh, after the pandemic it started into such a public situation and there was a huge crowd in the metro. I got off at a station called Maidan which is in the middle of the city center and my intention was to head, uh, head over to Victoria Park uh, or Victoria Memorial but on the way I came across uh, Elliot's Park uh, just by the side of the road and so I decided to step in and uh, look around. And uh, there were no cameras allowed here, but I did actually sneak one in and take a few uh, clips. It's a lovely park with some huge banyan trees uh, inside. Uh, and it's a nice place to hang out in the middle of the city for a little bit of peace and calm. From here it was a longish walk uh, to Victoria Memorial and again uh, Google showed me a completely different entrance from what it actually was and I got lost go and I had to ask around and figure my way sure around exactly the place. At this point I really have to say that I completely messed up my camera settings and instead of capturing video I was doing uh, time lapses and hyperlapses and which is why you are seeing these fast forward videos without any voice in it. There's an entry fee to get into uh, the Victoria Memorial Land Park and the charges are different. So inside the memorial is uh, the exhibition uh, space 
which is priced higher but i didn't take that ticket i just wanted to get into the park and see the park itself um, so that was about 30 rupees i think so the victoria memorial was built when uh, queen victoria died uh, and Lord Curzon, who was the Viceroy at that time, suggested that they build a massive and spacious and stately building uh, to which the whole world would look up and, you know, people would come in and see it and be reminded of the glory of the past, he said. But that, by that time, I guess he meant the British Empire and his own rule. The park itself was meticulously planned out with a lot of trees uh, planted uh, all over the place and there are ponds and uh, it's watered and tended to by more than 20 gardeners or so so this here is a bronze statue uh, of George Samuel Robinson who was the Viceroy and Governor General of India from 1880 to 1884 and uh, there are several such statues installed in various parts of the park uh, basically giving uh, importance to all the, the viceroys and so on who ruled over India at, at various points in time so here's another statue this one is of uh, William Cavendish Bentinck um, and below here there seems to be figures that uh, uh, look like Indians. So I was able to walk around the park and look at the trees, many of which were labelled and figure out why, which tree was what. But there was also these nice uh, carvings being done across the park. This is a dead tree uh, on which they have um, made the installation of wood carvings of you know mushrooms and frogs and stuff. And previously we saw an owl being carved into into the trunk of a tree. And so it's a, it's a really nice touch and there are several such installations like this across the park. So I've been walking around the whole park uh, and uh, pretty tired by now. Uh, I've been trying to document the trees around this region uh, and there's a lot of them. Unfortunately a lot of them don't have uh, or don't have uh, labelings uh, or uh, the labelings have uh, just become too old to be able to read so um, anyway there's quite a diversity of planted trees around uh, and I've been walking around quite a bit and I'm really tired by now I've just been sitting and rehydrating myself because it is quite hot and humid um, now I think I'll head off from here and try and visit the planetarium on my way back uh, and maybe the cathedral which are both pretty close by but uh, walk wise a little, uh, little bit far from here so yeah that's my plan for now So here is uh, uh, the Birla Planetarium and right next to it is the St. Paul's Cathedral and uh, I have a bit of time before the show at, Saint Paul, uh, at uh, the Planetarium so I will just quickly check out the Cathedral first So there was no videography allowed in the cathedral which you can see behind me. This is an Anglican uh, church and supposedly the first one in the whole of Central Asia and the largest church in Kolkata. Um, yeah unfortunately no videography was allowed but I went inside and had a quick look around 
uh, not the fan of churches but the architecture is something worth visiting the place for uh, although nothing special i would say so here is the mp birla planetarium there are shows in hindi and english uh, and the next show is at 1 o'clock it's currently 12:20 so i'm just going to wait around till 12:30 when i can buy a ticket uh, might try and get some lunch before that uh, and then watch one of the shows at the planetarium So um always wanted to eat a roll in Kolkata. Uh, so I bought this. I wasn't brave enough to go for the chicken roll. I ordered an egg roll. And it turned out pretty good. And unlike uh, down south they had um, cucumber and onion inside. So it's a kind of a different taste. And uh, quite tasty i must say after lunch i headed back to the planetarium and made it in time for the show uh, there was quite a large crowd waiting to get in uh, but uh, i managed to make the english show which was uh, the second show after the hindi so i am inside the planetarium Uh, and uh, this is going to be my first experience inside a planetarium ever so that's pretty exciting uh there was a 120 rupee entry charge and a little bit of a queue to enter but it's going to start in another 10 minutes built nearly 4000 years ago stonehenge in england may have served early britons as an observatory we know now that these planets are distant beautiful worlds illuminated by our parent star the sun as time passes the whole sky appears to move from east to west it is however not the sky that is moving so i've just finished watching the show at uh, the planetarium quite an amazing sight indeed so now i'm going to try and head back to the hotel which means i'm going to have to cross this road Yeah the traffic in Kolkata is something but uh, it's very similar to what is there in Bangalore anyway i did get back to my home uh, hotel safe and sound but later that night i got the unique opportunity to travel by a, a cycle rickshaw and this is something i've been wanting to do ever since i got into the uh, city so here i am sitting on one of the rickshaws It's a short trip uh, to uh, do some work, uh, and I finally got to get on the rickshaw. 
and I was able to do this only because my host uh, spoke to the cycle rickshaw and was able to communicate with them and tell them exactly where I needed to go over the phone. Uh, and in many ways, this was like the uh, perfect ending to my Kolkata trip uh, because uh, this is something very unique to Kolkata uh, and uh, something I've been wanting to do. And I was in a way kind of sad uh, that my trip was coming to an end. But Kolkata is such a great city and, and such a unique city. And I'm sure I'll get more opportunities to come back uh, to this city and explore it a little bit more next time maybe. So till then, take care.